Today I got a little side video for you guys today. I mean, for anybody that's watching, anyways. But the so um, I actually went to orientation last week for my uh, university, and uh, I'm I actually been going to a community college for the past three years and stuff like that. You know, got a little held up by work and and so trying the whole balance issue. By the way, side note: don't go part time. If you're gonna go to school, tr attempt full time all all the time. Because you're not going to get anywhere. You're going to waste at least a year anyway. But that's not the point. That's not the point of this video anyway. So, yeah, I'm going to be transferring out to this university, to a university. And going to be majoring in mechanical engineering. Hence, all the car wallpapers, if you will. And generally, they're, they're exotic material. Lamborghinis and Ferraris and stuff like that. And that's the reason I came across this article back in 2010 anyways. <laughs> hang on, let me, hang on. Wait, what was that? Oh, anyway, yeah. So, yeah, so I went to orientation and we went through the whole policy of... Uh, all sorts of presentations about how how to behave at school, basically. Well, not behave, but uh, all the rules and regulations at school, what to expect at school, uh, registering, all that good stuff. But uh, the presentation, the there was this one presentation about the network. It, it was thirty minutes long, as I rem as I, I think I recall. Anyway, it was, it was thirty minutes long about their whole network and how you should not be pirating music on the school network. They brought it up at least four times in the whole presentation that do not pirate. They said no. No and no. No pirating allowed on the school network. And, and if you do pirate on the school network, yeah, I believe you get, I think the first time you just get a warning of some sort. And the second time you, you get blocked from the network and possibly even sued by the company that owns the stuff that you downloaded. So it can lead to a of trouble. So just don't do it at universities or or school campuses, whatever, just don't do it. Because I'm pretty sure somebody's monitoring their network 24-7 anyway, so, um... So... I'm pretty... So most of us do do illegal activity at one point anyway. I do not so much. I mean, I'll occasionally download a movie once a week at best. Generally, I download a movie maybe once a month or something like that. I mean, I don't have cable, so I'll tend to download a lot of Showtime shows and, uh... Or... I'm just waiting for Top Gear to come back in the air, and I'll be downloading that again. But uh, even then, I don't do that much. So, so yeah, I mean, so th that orientation, that network that network presentation brought me back to this whole thing that we should be aware of this one small program so you can protect, protect yourself from landing in this this kid's shoes, basically. So what happened in our, or what happened last year was that this kid downloaded about 2,000 songs illegally, of course. But and he was sued by the RIAA. I mean, obviously the RIA knew they were gonna get much out of the kid. I mean, uh, I'm pretty sure he didn't have millions of dollars that he could repay for illegally downloading. I mean, I believe I think it would have been 1.4 million if uh, if he would have taken it to court and stuff like that. I mean, but he didn't. He didn't take it. He actually settled outside uh, outside the court system. And they ended up charging him, like, they ended up suing him for f almost close to six grand. But obviously the kid didn't have, uh, the kid didn't have uh, money to, uh, to pay six grand to these people. So he had to uh, sell his poor Mustang. So that hurt. <laughs> I mean, it hurt me anyway. But it, it even hurt me because I don't want to be in, that, in his shoes. Because generally, all their Mustang is pretty nice. Anyways, but uh, what's worse about it is that when he sold it on eBay, was the owner or the the buyer who who bought it from the kid uh, bought it very dirt cheap. And after a couple of weeks, he said that he called him back that he was able to fix it and, and sell it for eight grand. So that was a a double a double whammy for him, poor kid. So he sold it and he got caught for illegally downloading and stuff like that. But what you should do, oh by the way, it'll be in the link. Uh, it'll be in the description. If you want to read it, um, but if you do do illegal downloading, I mean, most of the time you won't, we won't get caught. I mean, or I mean, never say never. I mean, we can get caught, right? But uh, if you're one of those people that are downloading constantly over, I don't know, I'm pretty sure close to 50 gigs of bandwidth. If you if you're downloading 50 stuff of illegally stuff, I mean, you're asking to get caught. And generally, these people will will not will just they will they will just send you a warning saying hey, well, your internet provider, your internet your ISP or internet service provider will send you a letter saying hey stop downloading you've been caught by Sony or Paranormal Pictures or whoever. And um, so so generally you want to don't do that. 
So what you want to do now is, uh, if you want to keep continuing downloading that much without getting caught, is download a small program called Pure Block. I believe it's like two megabytes, if you will. And uh, I already have it down installed because I do do my fair bit of uh, illegal downloading, if you will. And uh, see, here it'll generate the list of IPs that are actively searching the net, the network or the internet for illegal downloading, so like you can get caught and stuff like that. And um, here it is. Here's the program itself. Oops, there it is, and uh, it'll block certain IPs that are known to be watchdogs for for illegal downloading. And uh, so you want you want to get yourself this program. I mean, it's free, and uh, it could possibly save you a lot of headache. But generally, most of the time, these people or these uh, these people will not will not come after you because chances are, if you illegally download, it, you don't have money. And if you do have money, you're probably not illegally downloading. You're probably buying it the product itself but um, but the yeah get yourself this program uh, it's not 100% guaranteed I mean but it will drastically reduce your chances of getting caught and actually getting sued but, but back to the whole downloading thing let me just close this out back to the whole downloading thing I mean if you can afford and pay for it just go ahead and pay for it I mean I tend to pay for my most of my programs anyway most of them I say most of them not all of them. occasionally I'll pirate some program that I want to pay for and Chance I won't I won't even use it anyway, but uh, um, if generally the programs that are are being do illegally downloaded are Microsoft products, like Word, like the whole Microsoft Office is probably one of the, probably the one of the most downloaded illegally programs out there. And the if you go to school, I mean, I mean generally if you're downloading that program, you can use it for school. What else? I mean, I'm pretty sure if you go if you go if you go through the school, you probably can get a massive discount. I mean, it's not dirt, dirt cheap, but you probably get a get a decent discount on on the product. And, I and if you're like me and you're majoring in engineering with AutoCAD or with computer aided design programs, you you probably can get it through the school even for free. I mean, you'll get the student edition, but uh, that's what you're mainly going to use it for anyway during school. I mean, by the time you you're out of school, you'll probably have a decent career and be able to afford the program anyway. So. If you if you need to get a, some sort of program, generally just go to the school and see if they have it. Chances are they will, or the program you're looking for, anyways, because uh, you're gonna need it for school. You need to be familiar with the with the program. But uh, yeah, that's that's basically it. I mean, if you do do, I mean, all of us do illegal download. You just try to be safe out there and don't get caught and just go ahead and download this program called uh, Pure Block. I think Pure Block 1.1. I think that's the latest, and I think there's another one called Pure Guard to peer guardian or something like that but i'm not sure this is the one i use anyway so but uh yeah thanks for watching for thanks for watching anyway